Hi guys, welcome to Animeized. This is the English translated version of the novel Throne of Seal. The novel differs slightly from the Chinese animation or Dong Hua. If you want more of these videos, please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Enjoy and have a blessed day. Amidst the intense rumbling, over 50 snake demons at the forefront are instantly blasted away, their bodies turning into fragments while still in the air, blood splattering all over the swamp. At the next moment of spewing out their inner cores, those dozen forest serpents also leap violently into the air, forcefully crashing into the enemy group, using their formidable strength to forcibly drive back the snake demons, each swallowing back their inner cores, and one by one, they disappear into the swamp after re-entering it, suddenly subjected to such a severe blow, even the snake demon god Endumly can't help but feel pressured. These are all elite members under its command. Losing one means losing one, and it's not easy to cultivate snake demons of this caliber. How could it not be distressed? A sharp scream echoes from Endemli's mouth, and the four snake succubi standing beside him make the same movement. Open your eyes. The four snake succubi open their eyes simultaneously, and Long Houchen instinctively closes his eyes from a distance, when he senses the threat disappearing. And upon reopening his eyes he inhales sharply. Just launched a powerful attack, the forest serpents that were in the process of retreating into the swamp. Three of them haven't fully submerged into the swamp, and now, their upper bodies are frozen in the swamp. Even the swamp around their bodies has solidified, petrified. The Medusa's innate ability is also one of the most terrifying abilities of the snake demon race, a skill that even the snake demon god Endumali cannot control. It belongs exclusively to the Medusa. The snake demons naturally won't miss this opportunity. The three petrified forest serpents instantly turned into fragments under their attacks. Visibly lifeless, the forest serpent king, also under attack, along with four. Medusa's three of them targeting the forest serpent, with the tallest one targeting the forest serpent king. The purpose is straightforward, to prevent the king of the forest serpent from intervening. The body of the forest serpent king trembled violently, and in front of him, a layer of petrified snake skin fell to the ground, quietly sinking into the swamp. Clearly, even a powerhouse like the forest serpent king can only resort to a method similar to the cicada shedding its shell to deal with the petrification ability of the medusas. Long Houchen was secretly shocked, he understood, if he wants to deal with Endumali, then the priority must be dealing with these medusas. Yu Ye's reminder was indeed correct. The danger of these medusas is even more terrifying than Endumali. It's not that these medusas are incredibly powerful, and their petrification ability cannot completely petrify someone like Long Houchen, a scion of light. However, even if their petrification skill only slows down the speed, it's unbearable. The gaze of the medusas is not to be directly faced, otherwise, the entire body will petrify. Moreover, the eyes of the medusas can shoot a petrifying ray, hitting the target, causing petrification. Of course, using this skill consumes a considerable amount of energy for the medusas, so they cannot continuously use it. And normally, they are like blind, unable to use this skill freely. Endumali lets out a low growl, and his serpent hands point towards the forest serpent king, while his snake minions slowly disperse around, alert for any forest serpents lurking in the swamp. Clearly, in this battle of subordinates, the snake demons have gained the final victory. The ordinary forest serpents, after launching their final attacks, no longer pose a significant threat, only lurking opportunistically in the swamp. And next, it's obviously time for a king-to-king -king battle. The snake demon god Endumali faces the forest serpent king alone. Of course, Endumali could let his subordinates consume the strength of the forest serpent king, but firstly, his minions are already damaged, and secondly, he also wants to avenge himself by relying on his own power. With the existence of the demon god Pillar, he has absolute confidence in himself. You see, every time he uses the demon god Pillar, he needs to consume the power of the origin. This time his target is not just the treasures here, but also the inner core and gallbladder of the forest serpent king, which are great supplements. If he can consume them, then Endumli will have at least a 70% chance of advancing to the ninth rank. The forest serpent king stares at Endumli with a low growl, and his serpent eyes gleam with anger. In a sense, they both belong to the serpent species, but at this moment, they have become mortal enemies. Endumli's body is already quite large, but compared to the forest serpent king, it's like a dwarf facing a giant. The two powerhouses are about to engage in a deadly battle, and Long Houchen becomes even more cautious. Hiding his own aura, for him, the upcoming battle is absolutely precious data. He has always wanted to know, after using the power of the demon god Pillar, how much can the demon god's enhancement reach, and soon, this scene is about to unfold. The snake demon god Endumli points his double-headed snake spear forward, issuing roars continuously from his mouth, while the surrounding snake demons also roar. The four medusas originally by his side do not follow, instead, they silently stay by the demon god Pillar, quietly facing the direction of the forest serpent king. These four medusas are like four magical cannons, and no one knows when they will open fire. 
and Dumli raises both heads of his snake's spear high. The deep chanting gradually becomes more intense, even beginning to sound a bit harsh. And on the seventy-second demon god pillar behind him, a faint purple halo begins to emanate. For some reason, upon feeling this faint purple halo, Long Haochen suddenly feels a sense of familiarity, not coming from the demon race, it seems like. Thinking about it, Long Haochen's expression suddenly changes, but he quickly returns to normal. Next, he sees, the gigantic snake statue coiled around the demon god pillar seems to come to life, and a pitch black shadow descends from the sky, silently attaching itself to the snake demon god Endemoli. Long Haochen's pupils suddenly contract, because he is shocked to see, that after the black shadow integrates with the snake demon god Endemoli, his body starts to grow at an astonishing speed, and his aura becomes even more powerful. The terrifying pressure emanates from bloodline or, more precisely, from a special power not belonging to this world. His strength is still at the pinnacle of the 8th rank, but the strength of this aura surpasses even that of a 9th rank powerhouse. Looking from afar, at this moment, the snake demon god Endemoli seems completely fused with his demon god pillar. Even the snake's spear in his hand grows along with his body's enlargement. The forest serpent king continues to roar, and the three golden lights behind him become increasingly bright. Rings of blue-green light spread from its body. Instantly, the dark elements in the air are rapidly dispelled, replaced by a unique elemental fluctuation full of both life and death. The toxic fog in the swamp becomes denser, in the sky. Light green acid rain begins to fall, with its target being only one, and that is the snake demon god Endemoli. The acid rain falls on Endemoli, and a clear sizzling sound can be heard, accompanied by a faint rising smoke. It is evident that, the corrosiveness accompanying it is quite strong. Truly, they are not easy opponents. Leveraging the power of a ninth-rank powerhouse, the Forest Serpent King is already altering and controlling the surrounding environment, possessing a domain-like ability. However, it's evident that the Forest Serpent King is still not enough to truly unleash a domain, similar to the Sawfish King they encountered before. It is said that, to truly master a domain, one needs the strength of a ninth-rank three-pole or higher, meaning a spiritual power, exceeding 300,000. Those capable of mastering a domain, whether in the Temple Alliance or among the demon race, are considered top-tier powerful beings. The snake demon god evidently feels pain. Roaring in deafening agony, its colossal body, already inflated to over 30 meters in height, charges straight toward the forest serpent king. The amplification bestowed by the demon god pillar, possessed by all demon gods, is an exclusive ability of the 72 demon god pillars of the demon race, known as demon god transformation. A demon god in the state of demon god transformation experiences a tremendous boost in both aura and strength. Their external spiritual power will reach a terrifying level. For example, the current snake demon god Endemoli, whose internal spiritual power remains at the peak of the 8th rank, but his external spiritual power has already reached the ninth rank. Different demon god pillars have different amplification directions and varying degrees of amplification strength. From this, it can be seen that, if the demon god emperor were to activate his extraordinary demon dragon pillar to achieve demon god transformation, it would be an incredibly terrifying existence. Two massive snake spears head straight towards the forest serpent king, in midair. And a strong surge of dark elements erupts like a fountain. Yes, under the control of the ninth rank forest serpent king, the surrounding dark elements have already been dispelled, but it cannot dispel the dark elements on the demon god pillar. At this moment, Endumli is seamlessly integrated with the demon god pillar, so how could he be affected by it? A unparalleled intense roar resounds in the air with blue-green and black, causing the surrounding swamp mud to be thrown into the air, a massive shockwave soaring into the sky, scattering acid. Rain in the air. Some serpentine demons who couldn't dodge or lack sufficient spiritual power are affected, resulting in continuous screams. Obviously, this is intentionally done by the forest serpent king, the ruler of the dark swamp, employing numerous methods to protect itself. At this moment, this powerful being is truly demonstrating its might, not showing any weakness even against a demon god. The battle between Endumali and the Forest Serpent King seems straightforward, and at this moment, the Forest Serpent King fully reveals its massive body to all serpent demons. Its body length reaches a terrifying over 60 meters, with the thickest part of its body exceeding 5 meters in diameter. What a terrifying behemoth! Even Endumali, enhanced by the demon god pillar, pales in comparison to it. The bodies of the two formidable beings are immense, both excelling in external spiritual power, so the upcoming collisions are bound to be direct melee. The terrifying spiritual powers of black and blue-green run rampant. With each intense collision, both powerful beings emit sounds resembling muffled groans. Long Houchin silently watches from a distance, profoundly moved internally, as he can be certain that even if he and his companions join forces, concentrating all their strength against either of these two, the odds of success would hardly exceed 30%, such as the strength of a ninth-rank powerhouse, causing a change in the world. If not for Andumli's deliberate actions, the shockwaves from their collisions would mainly rise into the sky, 
likely sparing only a few surviving serpentine demons in the area, even Long Haochen would be affected. Massive beams of light continuously ascend, even the dense toxic fog is penetrated under these circumstances, faintly, and sunlight even filters through. Impressive. Long Haochen secretly admires in his heart, directing his admiration towards the Forest Serpent King. Even, though the Forest Serpent King is a magical beast, it cannot be denied that it is quite cunning. Clearly, from the beginning of the battle, it provoked Endemoli, inducing the collision to release spiritual power into the air. Endemoli had no choice but to do this, as only in this way could it avoid injuring its own kin. However, the mist in the sky is dispersed, sunlight descends from the sky, which is a significant weakness for the snake demon god with dark attributes, causing a considerable reduction in strength. When sunlight falls on their massive bodies, the forest serpent king feels nothing, but the snake demon god is as if being burned. And the fusion with the demon god pillar shows signs of loosening. It's important to note that in external battles, when a demon god truly unleashes its power, their demon god pillars naturally emit dark clouds to block sunlight, but at this moment, the forest serpent king clearly won't give it that chance. Withdraw from this battlefield. The snake demon god shoulders the responsibility and collides head-on, forcefully pushing away the robust body that the forest serpent king had entangled. Simultaneously, the snake's spear in its hand leaves two deep wounds on the forest serpent king, and it roars angrily at its subordinates. The snake demons quickly retreat to the surroundings, entering the toxic fog and swiftly leaving the battlefield. Only the four medusas do not retreat, instead, they hide behind the demon god pillar. Opportunity. Long Haochen's eyes almost instantly light up, no longer observing the clash between the two powerful beings. For him, this is undoubtedly a rare opportunity, an excellent opportunity to complete the demon hunting squad mission he accepted. His figure flickers, retreating into the thick fog. Long Haochen does not summon his companions. In such situations, having more people doesn't necessarily yield better results. Additionally, he needs his companions to conserve their strength. Therefore, he enters the hunt alone in this toxic fog to avoid emitting too strong a aura of light. He doesn't use the hymn of the goddess of light. Instead, he grips his own aura of light in his right hand, fully sensing his surroundings, moving towards the retreating snake demons. The perception of snake demons relies entirely on their sense of smell, but in this fog-filled area, their sense of smell is evidently greatly weakened. Long Haochen quickly reaches behind a snake demon, pointing the heavy sword forward. A golden light flashes, instantly piercing through the snake demon's brain. In the face of Long Haochen's sword intent, even Ah Bao would need to be cautious, let alone these snake demons. Suppressed battle intent bursts out completely at this moment. Long Haochen completely relies on perception to move his body. Leaving the original position instantly after each strike, using the simplest attack method, Demon Killing Flash. Coupled with the sword intent, Demon Killing Flash sometimes expands, sometimes converges. Each attack inevitably results in a snake demon perishing under the sword. What's even more terrifying is that, the snake demons dying under Long Haochen's sword all have their heads pierced unable to even emit a miserable cry. Occasionally, one or two may appear, sounding as if stuck in the throat, short and full of fear. Long Haochen is not the only one attacking these snake demons, don't forget those forest serpents that infiltrated the swamp earlier. Forest serpent despises these invaders, and when the snake demon god orders its subordinates to retreat far away, the forest serpent king uses its own methods to command the pursuit of its people. Therefore, the snake demons with obscured vision in the thick fog become the prey of forest serpents hunt. Long Haochen fully senses, naturally able to perceive the current state of these snake demons. Within the poison fog, strands of dark spiritual power continuously pass through, which is the counterattack initiated by the snake demons. But without the demon god pillar dispersing the fog, their combat effectiveness has significantly decreased, not to mention any coordination. At this moment, the elite of these snake demon clans have suffered heavy losses. After all, the dark swamp is the territory of forest serpent, taking advantage of the favorable timing and location. The Forest Serpent King has ruled here for an unknown period, and even the Sawfish King, stronger than it, has been unable to replace its dominant position. Although the Snake Demon God Andumali has the upper hand, winning effortlessly is evidently not an easy task. It can be said that, from the moment those ordinary Forest Serpents infiltrated the swamp, Andumali fell into the traps set by the Forest Serpent King. At this moment, Andumali merges with the Demon God Pillar, entering the Demon God State, with perception much stronger than usual. He naturally hears the wails of his people, but he is currently entangled by the Forest Serpent King, and the battle between them has reached a white-hot state, so he can't do anything right now. He can only desperately attack the Forest Serpent King. It has to be said that, demonized Andumali is extremely terrifying. After entering the Demon God state, his physical strength is no less than that of the Forest Serpent King, and he wields an even more powerful weapon. The wounds on the Forest Serpent King increase continuously, and Andumali is not feeling well either. However, the Demon God state allows his recovery speed to far surpass that of his opponent. Moreover, he has assistance. 
four pairs of dead white eyes quietly open behind. The demon god pillar, and eight deathly white rays of light flash down onto the forest serpent king. Immediately, the entire body of the forest serpent king stiffens for a moment, crazily writhing. Another layer of snake skin peels off its body, resisting the petrification effect. However, this undoubtedly eases its assault on Endemoli. How could Endemoli let go of such a good opportunity? His eyes are already bloodshot, raising the twin spears high, and although his body is huge, it remains flexible as he leans backward nearly 90 degrees. Intense dark elements transform into black lightning, attaching to the twin spears, then ruthlessly stab into the recently shed skin of the forest serpent king. Blood splatters, green-blue blood scatters and splashes. In the roar of the forest serpent king, its massive body stirs with full force, barely managing to repel Andumali. But it can clearly see that there is a black glow swirling around its body, and signs of severe corrosion appear at the large wound. Roar! The forest serpent king is completely enraged, green-blue flames spew from its eyes, it suddenly opens its huge mouth, spewing a terrifying green-blue light with a diameter exceeding one meter, heading straight for Endemoli. This guy is going all out, that's Endemoli's first thought, and he rolls out almost like a lazy donkey. That's the inner core of a ninth order powerhouse, although he wants to devour it, but if this thing falls on him under the control of the forest serpent king, even if his body is more robust, it would probably lead to broken bones and fractures. While his body rolls, Endemoli bursts with a dazzling dark gold, raising the long spear in his hand. With a sharp wail, a phantom appears beside him. The phantom is the same size as his body, heading straight for that inner core. However, a strange scene unfolds. Unexpectedly, the previously enraged forest serpent king's eyes reveal a hint of cunning, and the seemingly powerful green-blue inner core actually takes a turn in the air. Not attacking Endumali, but heading straight for his demon god pillar. Endumali is greatly surprised, but the next moment, a hint of disdain appears in his eyes. The king of the forest serpent has plotted against him, how could he not anticipate that and prepared for a counter-attack? Boom! As if the entire dark swamp is violently shaking, a terrifying rumble emanates from the 72nd demon god pillar, intense green and black lights simultaneously burst forth. This time, the forest serpent king miscalculated, it knew from the beginning, that the real threat to itself is not Endymoli, but the pillar he brought, but it's also well aware, that finding an opportunity to attack this pillar isn't easy. It feigned anger from Endymoli, spewing out the inner core, and finally finding what seemed like a rare opportunity, how could it not go all out, in its view, as long as it destroys this demon god pillar then Endymoli can only perish under its pursuit. However, it miscalculated, it had underestimated of the strength of the demon god pillar, in the intense rumbling. The body of the forest serpent king violently trembles, swaying like a pendulum, its inner core rebounds at an astonishing speed, but the green-blue light on it noticeably dims. Moreover, the glow on the forest serpent king also fades. Endymoli laughs maniacally, and lunges again, together with the illusion he created, heading straight for the forest serpent king, launching a desperate attack. How could he give up such a good opportunity? In the history of humans and demons, instances of demon gods being killed have occurred countless times. But the 72 demon god pillars guarding the demon race have never been destroyed. Not even artifacts have damaged this treasure guarding the demon race, let alone the inner core of the forest serpent king. In miscalculation, the forest serpent king suffers a severe backlash due to the intense collision of the inner core, leaving it in a state of absolute weakness. Seizing this opportunity, the snake demon god Endymoli launches a frenzied attack on it. For a moment, blood and flesh fly from the body of the forest serpent king, and it seems to be faltering. In terms of strength, the forest serpent king should have an absolute advantage. After all, the ninth order compared to the eighth peak is a significant difference in ranks. The forest serpent king can completely control the elemental properties of this area. However, the role of the demon god pillar is indeed too significant, not only providing powerful dark elemental support to the snake demon god Endymoli, but also raising his external spiritual power to over a hundred thousand. This significantly narrows the gap between the two sides. The previous calculations of the forest serpent king have all succeeded, leading it to become overly confident, to the point of making a fatal mistake, and its core is affected by the backlash of the demon god pillar, resulting in an absolute disadvantage. However, the recent attack on the core of the Forest Serpent King did not have no effect at all, at least. The four Medusas hidden behind the Demon God Pillar are knocked down in the swamp by strong spiritual shockwaves, each with bleeding from the nose and mouth, rapidly twisting their bodies to avoid sinking into the swamp. Although the abilities of the Medusas are formidable, they are only Sixth Order Snake Demons, and the attack power of the Forest Serpent's core is completely blocked by the Demon God Pillar, but the terrifying spiritual power causes air vibrations that spread in a range instantly injuring these four medusas. A faint blue light. In the blink of an eye, as if lightning, penetrates. Then comes to a sudden halt. This motion and stillness seem extremely strange, and the position where he stops happens to be in the center of those four medusas. 
Following that, the blue light turns into a whirlwind. As if countless circles of blue light burst open from it, accompanied by a piercing howl, the four Medusas immediately let out loud cries. At this moment, they dare not even open their eyes, as the previous intense spiritual shock had left them in a dizzy state. And what if the petrification rays hit their companions? After all, even Medusas cannot be immune to their own petrification rays, however. These Medusas are after all sixth order powerhouses, and the snakes on their heads suddenly wriggle madly, attempting to resist the blue light's attack. However, as soon as all the snakes enter the range of the blue light, they instantly shatter, and this is the reason for their cries. As those are part of their bodies, suddenly, the snake demon god endumly hears screams from behind, instinctively turning to look. This glance is not insignificant, immediately causing him to be greatly shocked. Due to the concealment of the demon god pillar, he didn't see clearly the appearance of the blue light, and under habitual thinking, he naturally assumes that the blue light belongs to the forest serpent, after all. The spiritual power emitted by the forest serpent is also this color. At this moment, he is in the midst of a fierce battle with the forest serpent king, and the spiritual power in the surroundings is also controlled by the forest serpent king, greatly affecting his judgment. The four medusas finally couldn't help but open their eyes, and their snake hair was torn apart by the light, and the sharp aura was already upon them. Whether human or demon, under such circumstances, one would inevitably instinctively try to save themselves, and they could feel the direction of the enemy. However, just as they each turned their heads and opened their eyes, what they saw was the appearance of their companions. Meanwhile, the blue figure that had displayed dazzling skills was now five meters above them. So how could it see their eyes? The four bodies instantly petrified. As those skilled in water die from drowning, these four medusas unexpectedly hit each other, and their petrified bodies immediately sank into the swamp. However, the blue light did not give them the chance to be buried. Instead, it kicked them out one after another with four consecutive kicks, sending the four petrified medusas flying directly into the distant vines. The blue light flickers, and directly disappears with the cover of the demon god pillar. Roar! And Dumali is furious. Among the snake demon tribe, the most precious are the medusas, and due to their petrification abilities, reproduction is extremely difficult. Yet, they possess formidable strength. She is the left arm and right arm of the snake demon god. There are only six adult medusas in the entire tribe now, with two staying behind to guard the tribe, while the remaining four are taken out by Endumali. But he never expected that these four medusas would die in such an unclear manner. In his rage, he naturally wants to vent all his anger on the forest serpent king in front of him, and this hatred can only be cleansed with the blood of the enemy. The forest serpent king is definitely being blamed for it, but even it finds the situation inexplicable, because it clearly feels that the blue light is of the wind attribute, not something it caused. But since Andumli helped it, it can't just deny it now. Moreover, with the threat of the four Medusas gone, the pressure it faces has also decreased significantly. With this brief respite, its spiritual power has also recovered a lot. Suddenly, spiritual power erupts entirely, engaging in a fierce battle with Andumli. The four petrified Medusas have already entered Long Houchen's eternal melody at this moment. If he doesn't seize such a good opportunity just now, then he wouldn't be Long Houchen. Medusa's perception is very strong as can be seen from the fact that they can usually sense things even with their eyes closed. Without sufficient perception, how can they judge the enemy's situation without vision? So, even though Long Haochen has already locked onto Medusa as the target, he has not made a move yet. In his original plan, the plan was to have Wang Yuan Yuan take action. And the instantaneous teleportation of the Gate of Space Spirit Furnace is undoubtedly the best choice for assassinating Medusa. However, Long Haochen's concern is that, after all, Wang Yuan Yuan is only at the sixth rank, even though she has mastered ancient martial techniques, but facing four Medusas at the same time. She is a bit isolated and powerless. While Long Haochen is considering who to cooperate with Wang Yuan Yuan, the Forest Serpent King provides him with such a good opportunity. Holy Guard Number 10 appears on the battlefield again, performing an unrestrained dance of the wind. The four Medusas entangle themselves in cocoons, ultimately perishing by their own petrifying race. To be able to smoothly eliminate all four Medusas, undoubtedly greatly relieves Long Haochen. 